performance and you to talk a little more about what we saw on the ice is Ray Ferraro and Razor I mean what does that do for his draft stock oh man it'll uh, it'll put a rocket to it if he continues to play in this tournament like that the scouts are going to get more and more interested also a little more jittery as they might have had a player slotted in a certain area of the draft he plays like that he's going to jump a couple of spots in the draft for sure this is really an important start to the tournament for him yeah and this is where kind of all of a sudden the 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 stocks kind of rise and fall here right hi everybody along with ray ferraro down at ice level my name is james sabalski two teams pretty evenly matched here ray any final thoughts well i kind of laughed as i heard both benches here talk about oh we got to get the first goal well somebody's not going to get it that doesn't mean the game's over but I think it's really important to try and play the game at the pace you want to play. These two teams don't play the same style. And we are about set to drop the puck on this one. The Blades start with possession as we are now underway. Saskatoon's got the puck along the wall. And it's in the back of the net! Wow, this was quick! Hard to believe the game can change so quickly. An early score, and it is something that nobody quite expected. Well, the only way he's stopping this one is if it hits him. As soon as the shooter went to shoot it, the goaltender dropped into the butterfly. He's looking around that traffic, hoping he can find it. The blade strike and strike quickly here, Razor. What a way to play on the road. Get out in front and maybe you can control the pace of the game. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Sends a pass over. Grabs control of it at the point. Shot! He scores! What a goal! Just 20 seconds apart. That's a pair of goals. Wow, insane how quick that was. Bang, bang. Yeah, the defending team just couldn't put a stake in the ground. They couldn't stop them. This isn't over yet. He goes right down to his youngest player. Gives him a little prod not to take a nap. There's still time left in this game. That's why he's the best in the business, Mr. Ray Ferraro. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. Saskatoon's been the better team here over the last few minutes, increasing their lead to two. Puts it high. Battle along the boards. Trying to get back on the attack now. The 67s look around near the point. Nice zone entry from the left. Sends it across. Can't finish. Oh, Ray, blown opportunity. It really is. I mean, the play is sitting right there. There's a scoring chance to be had. They just don't execute it. The Blades gain possession along the wall. Grabbed along the boards by Clark. He carries the puck up along the wing. To his teammate. Stopped by the goaltender. Sometimes you're in close. There's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. Saskatoon's got a hold of the puck. The Blades move it ahead. Look out, a two-on-one. Ottawa's gained possession along the boards. Stays with it. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Ottawa's got a hold of the puck. Can't connect. With possession along the wall. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. Picks up the puck in his own end. Nice pass. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Takes the feed. Pokes it away in his own end. Takes a nice feed up through the middle now.
They've got the defense outnumbered. A chance right in front. Stopped by the goaltender. Now, by being in the right position, James, he gets so tight to the shooter, there's nowhere for the puck to go. Quick pass to Robinson, and he comes up with it. Good save, positional save through traffic. Saskatoon's moving it into the offensive end. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Robinson. Saskatoon's ready to go on the attack. Centering pass, and they can't connect. Loose puck battle along the boards. Grabs it in his own end. Ottawa's moving it up the ice. Strong defensive effort. The blade scoop it up along the boards. Receives the pass. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. The 67s have the puck now. Saskatoon's got a hold of it along the wall. And now it's over to Robinson. Here's an offensive chance. Oh, just wide. I thought he had that one, James. Comes up with the stick save. Ottawa's got the puck along the boards. Big play inside the defensive zone. Picked up along the boards by Daly. Gaining momentum up along the side. Battling for it along the boards. Good defensive effort to poke it away. And there's the horn concluding period number one as both teams get on the board. Hey fans, don't forget to answer tonight for our team signed poster, which will give away before the end of tonight's game. Still lots of hockey still to come, so get ready here on EA Sports. Both teams back on the ice, they're lined up, and period number two is about ready to go. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Well, we've got over 20 minutes played thus far. Ray, how have you seen things? Saskatoon's offense has come from many sources. They've had a majority of the shots on goal. It's a good thing. This is a high-scoring game. The Blades will play it through the neutral zone. Into the corner. Here's a short pass to Robinson. Couldn't find the intended target. And that shot dies in traffic. The 67s have it now. Saskatoon's got the puck along the wall. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. And they can't convert to the play! Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. One on one with the goaltender. And he comes up with a big stop. I can't do it better than that, James. That's a great stop. Slides the puck over. Great poise here as he gets it back. The blades carry it along the wall. And they fail to go tape to tape. Something to cheer about as they lead it 3-2. The 67s get a hold of the puck along the boards. Excellent stick work on the play. There's a whistle as the official's calling for a penalty here. They're calling slashing on the play, Ray. Penalty of frustration in a lot of cases. The penalty, 7 minutes, 58 seconds. Saskatoon's got it along the wall. Let's it go, and he makes the save. Oh, I want to see that again, guys. Roll it again. Sometimes you think you've got room, but the ice closes off. That's a big hit there, and he's got to get up slowly. The Blades continue to lead in the second. They have been the busier team in the shot department, and as a result, they lead. Robbins wins it in the offensive zone. Quick shot, and that one stopped. Here's a chance to clear the puck from his own end. Oh, oh look at that. Here we go. We got a penalty coming up right here. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Daly's been slashed. Penalty coming up. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. Robinson's going off to the box for two minutes. That's a complete overreaction, and he gets burned as he gets called for slashing and he'll head to the penalty box. 
Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. Steps in and takes the puck. Manages to hang on. The Blades gain control of the puck against the wall. Pinned up along the boards. Centering pass in front. Trying to get it out. And he's able to move the puck across the blue line and out of harm's way. Saskatoon's got it from behind the net. The Blades move to the offensive zone. The 67s have it against the wall. And that pass goes awry. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. From the neutral zone now. Robbins plays it against the boards. Great hand eye by the goaltender, poking it away. Drives to the sweet spot. Puck grabbed by Daly. On the heels of their blades, trying to get it out. And he gets the job done. Big thumbs up, clearing that one. Good battle along the boards for the puck. Find some space in the corner. Ottawa's got the puck against the boards. Penalty coming up as the ref did not like that. Gains control of the puck here at the blue line. Denies him in front. And here's the official call as play is whistled dead. Well, the official's going to give him two minutes to think about that one. Yeah, you can argue for a few seconds, James, I guess, but you already know at this point you're going to sit down. To number 27, two minutes for slashing. Time of the penalty, 11 minutes, 28 seconds. Saskatoon's lead here in the second period, a direct result of being the more aggressive team offensively. Ottawa's got it, and they're on the attack. Sends the pass over. Off his stick! Stops him cold! Past the midway mark in this period. Saskatoon's been the better club as they hold a 4-2 lead at this point. The 67s will go to work here in the offensive zone. He was locked in there. The centermen glide into position. The Blades get a hold of the puck in their own end. Here's an opportunity to clear the zone. And clearing attempt is a big success on that play. Ottawa's got a hold of it against the wall. The 67s get nothing here on this power play. We're back to even strength. Jabs the puck away. Slides it back to the blue line. The Blades look to start the transition game. Saskatoon's got the puck against the half wall. Robbins in the corner now. Ottawa's got it in their own zone. Approaching the final 60 seconds here in the second. And he's ridden off the puck. The 67s take it along the wall. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. Sent into the offensive zone. The 67s gain possession along the wall. And now he angles it across to Johnston. Takes the pass. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Still anyone's game, especially the way these two teams have been producing offensively as the second period comes to an end. Present your ticket stuff from tonight's game and receive a 10% off of your meal and Buzzfield Burgers Family Restaurant. James Sabolski, Ray Ferraro, ready to bring you all the action. Period number three is set to get underway. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. There's the whistle, and a penalty is coming up on this one. Officials making the call. You know, you had, what, over 400 goals? Different kind of stick work here. A little different. I, I would say this is probably the penalty I took as much as any. Really? Yeah, you get a little bit behind, and or you get a little bit frustrated in the slash is the one. Or is that the Ferraro temper? No, it's... Yes. <laughs> Nine seconds. 
Maintains possession. Stopped by the goaltender. Saskatoon's gained possession along the boards. Goaltender gave up nothing as it hits the outside of the post and will play on. Saskatoon still in the same spot. That's a good scoring chance where the puck hits the pipe and stays out. And he comes up with it. Picked off. Tried to be too cute on the pass. And he gains the zone here. Great chance in front. Knocked away. The 67s will kill off a few extra seconds now. Puck battle along the boards. What a steal in his own end. Saskatoon's got possession here in the offensive zone. Moved out in front. Whoa. He scores. That's three on the road. I can't imagine too many hats being tossed, though, here. No, there's not going to be. I mean, this is a terrific game for him. He's got three. And you're right, on the road, nobody's throwing their bucket. Uh, the old standby, low stick. The goalie beaten clean here. He can't catch it. Saskatoon's taking a playbook out of the Ray Ferraro School of Hockey here. Just be aggressive, goal when after you, goal. Man, when you score, go get another one. You've got the other team down, go get more. Because you make yourself feel better, you build your own confidence, and you put this thing on cruise control. The Blades have built themselves up a comfortable lead here in this third period. This neutral zone faceoff set to go, and we are back underway. The 67s break away. Denies him with a big time save. He thought he had him beat, but the goalie gets over to make a great stop. The Blades lead this one early in the third period. They have been the more aggressive team offensively with the lead in the shot department. While the centers are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. The Blades have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Saskatoon's got it against the boards. And he can't hang on after that hit. Handles the puck. They've got numbers. Here's a shot. Oh, and he just puts it wide of the net. The Blades will play it from the defensive zone. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. And he totally whiffs on that one. Ottawa's got it across the line. The Blades scoop it up along the boards. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Forces the turnover in the neutral zone. Slides it over with pace to Quinn. Takes it to the net. Overshot it. Sometimes the only place you have is up over the goalie's shoulder. Sometimes you airmail it. The Blades have shown no signs of slowing down here in this third period up big. The 67s take possession off the faceoff with the stop. Puck scooped up by Robinson. Strong defensive effort. Passes it to Quinn. Great positioning by the defender. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Saskatoon's got a hold of it along the wall. And he regains control of the puck. Nice poke check. The 67s take possession in the defensive end. Scoops up the puck here. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Along the half wall with the puck. And that one's broken up. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Ottawa's looking to break out. Feeds it to Clark. Here's a chance. Gets in front of it. Again, the denial by the goaltender. Saskatoon's got the puck along the wall. With some open space at center. Under a minute to go in the third. Takes the feed. The Blades looking against the half wall. And now he tries to get it across to Robinson. Ottawa's got it in their own zone. Into the attacking area from the left side. The 67s take it along the wall. And that goes wide. The 67s generate shot after shot. 
they cannot find a way to finish off these chances. This is why the game is so hard to predict, right? You get the opportunities. Doesn't mean you always finish. Quinn's carrying it ahead. Move to the middle. Oh, just wide of the net. It doesn't matter how close it is. If it's not on the net, it can't go in. Gets it out of his own end. There's the horn, and that's the hockey game. Ray, you look at the numbers, and in this case, the numbers don't lie. The better team won this one. Uh, this is one easily you can marry your eye test to the numbers test and say, yeah, they both work. That team deserved to so win. So the analytics crew and the, and, the, and the hockey crew could actually see eye to eye on this they one. They could actually get along. As the old saying goes, on to the next one, on to the next one. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. We'll see you at the next tournament showdown next time.